Welcome to Pint Sized, where today I'm going to show you my skills at master baking. Welcome to Pint Sized. This probably won't work, but who gives a crap? Today I'm going to show you how unbelievably easy it is to make bread using beer. Hey Arlie, what a waste of beer. You dick. It's not really wasting beer, because I'm just turning it into bread. Which is what beer is. Just liquid bread. It may sound a bit weird, but beer and bread are inextricably linked. The world's first beer was meant to be bread. They just left it outside for the wild yeast to get in. Sadly, beer bread isn't alcoholic, but it is incredibly easy and quite good fun to make. All you need to do to change a normal bread recipe into a beer bread recipe is to take out the water and yeast and put in beer. And for my first batch of beer bread today, I'm going to be using a bottle of Badger's Leaping Legend. It's a nice hoppy, golden beer, can't go too wrong with it and it's slightly out of date, so it's a nice way of using it up. Now, as I said, all you need to do to the recipe is take out the water and yeast and put in beer. It's as easy as that, so you can go and try it yourself. Today, I'm doing something which probably won't work. Uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm using a bag of pre-made bread mix. Now, this is like the laziest thing in the world. This is just, all there is in here is flour, yeast, salt, and some other crud. So this already has yeast in it and I'm going to put more yeast in it. So if you don't see me next week, it's because I've become bread, because it has taken over my flat. So I'm going to make it now. All I need to do is put that in a bowl, and instead of adding lukewarm water, I'm going to put some room temperature beer in there. I might even heat it up a little bit to get that yeast going. And then we're just making bread. Let's have some fun. Okay, so I'm actually going to make some beer rolls today. You don't have to do anything different until you put them in the oven. So let's get started. All you need to do is measure out 320 mils of your favourite beer. If you want something with a lot of flavour, find something really hoppy, like a Brewdog Punk IPA. Or if you just want to add a bit of body to it, just find a nice gold nail or a nice amber or dark beer. That could be really good. When you measure out your beer, just put it into a pan under a low heat just to get that yeast working a little bit. Just Literally, you just want to get it lukewarm. Next up, in the mixing bowl, add your dry ingredients. There's about 500 grams of flour going in there. Get in your bitch. Ah. Okay, so my beer is nicely lukewarm now. I'm just going to add it to the dry ingredients. Okay, so now you've got your warm beer in your little dry ingredient bowl. And so the next thing you're going to do is just mix it together for about five minutes. Best to use your hands, or if, you, if you're lucky enough to have a mixer, just use that. Until it forms a nice, relatively solid ball of dough. Let's get started. Okay, so when you've finished uh, mixing it up with your hands into a decent ball of dough, you can get it out the bowl into a well-floured surface, and then begins the pretty annoying, boring bit or the fun bit. Um, you want to start by uh, you want to start by sort of punching the dough. You want to get those gluten strain starts. So it's good to spin it round and just put a lot of force into it with the palm of your hand, pushing it away from you. Just get those gluten strains going, get them nicely stretched out, so you get a really nice bubbly texture. So we're probably going to do that for about a minute or so. If you find it's drying out, just put a bit more flour on the surface and. Just carry on with that, pushing away from you with the palm of your hand. So that should probably do. When you're done with that, you want to start kneading it. Basically, all you're doing now is folding air into it to get those nice big air bubbles. So that's literally what we do, we just fold it. So you've got your nice bit of dough there, you probably feel it's quite light already. So fold it and just push it down, fold it, push it down. We will probably, probably want to do this for about 10 minutes or so. When that's all done, you should have a nice little springy dough that you can drop and it doesn't really change its shape too much. You should pinch it and it should go back sort of a little bit to how it was. Then you just want to literally stick it in a bowl, cover with a damp cloth or some cling film, bye. And then put it in a warm, dry place, like an airing cupboard or a cupboard that might be near an oven, just anywhere relatively warm. Or even if you've got a warm house, 
Lucky you. Okay, so I've got my dough out of the airing cupboard. It's been proving for about an hour. And as you can see, it's gotten really quite big. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna split it into 10 smaller rolls and then go for another proof. Just maybe another 20 minutes, another half an hour, just to get a bit more air and a bit more life into the new shapes that I'm gonna make with it. Okay, so the second proof is done, having remolded them into bun shapes. Uh, the packet suggested I do 10, uh, as I said, I only did six, and they've actually gone, uh, they've gone, qu <laughs> they've gone quite large, probably as a result of the fact the beer had yeast in as well as the uh, bread mix, but I don't think there's such thing as too much yeast. So, uh, oh. so when they're all plumped up and ready to go, you pop them straight in the oven. Um, I've greased the pan uh, already, and as I said, I preheated it to 210 if using a pan oven. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop them in, close it, and for rolls, I'm gonna do 15 minutes. If you were doing a whole loaf, you wanna do about 20 to 25. Just wait until it's golden brown, then take them out, give them a tap on the bottom. If it sounds nice and hollow, you're good, and you can call them on the wire rack. So I'll see you in 15 minutes. That noise can only mean one thing. It's beer bread time. Oh, look at them. So as you can see, my, my rolls have sort of become a loaf. I don't really care. Looks the balls. So you meant to put them out on the wire rack just to cool them down for however long, an hour or so. Uh, I haven't really got a wire rack, so I'm just gonna put it on this thing. Just gonna tap the bottom to see if it's got that hollow sound. Oh yeah. Oh. We all in there. So there we go. Beer bread. Well, beer rolls. They're all cooled down, I split them up. And I'm really pleased with them. I don't know if they taste like beer yet, but yeah, it's that easy. You just bread mix, and instead of putting water and yeast in, you pop your favourite beer in. Mmm, delicious. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.